Hi guys, today Hi guys, today we're shearing. So we set up a, a run of hurdles down into the barn. There's not really anywhere much they can go unless they skirt off around into the, the spare barn. But I don't think they're gonna do that. Here's our two little pet lambs. Hello girls. What we'll do now, Bob and I'll go up and around and bring everyone down. Julia and Jessica are down the bottom just making sure we don't get anyone coming through on the footpath moving hurdles and, and sort of letting them go wherever. Good boy. Good boy. Don't push on them. Here we are, they're on their way now. They've seen the gate. Oh, they've turned curly at the gate, Bob. Go around them, Bob. Bob. Good boy. In the pen, in the middle is the ones waiting to be done. Outside are the ones that have been done. And our shedders. A few big bags of fleece here. Unfortunately now, fleeces aren't really actually worth anything. The cost of taking them up and getting them sold is more than the cost of shearing them. So we use the in the bottom of veg troughs and things like that. Slugs don't like going over it, so it's a, a good way of keeping slugs out of the pot. These are the boys here, we're still waiting to be done. The sort of pet sheep really, these three. The, the back of the three black ones that you can see here is our oldest sheep. He was in my very first group of sheep that I bought and we kept him just to keep the ram company when he wasn't in with the ewes. The grey fella in the middle then is a couple of years younger. We've had him a fair few years as well. He was a bottle reared lamb. And then at the front here is Tiny Tony. So that's our ram at the back there, the white texel. Leashed a few times just before, nice and calm and easy going with the sheep, which is what we like. Fairly relaxed as he's doing it there. So what he's doing there is just pulling the skin tight as he's going around and that just makes sure that there's no nicks from the shears. There's no little flaps of skin that can get stuck in it. Top job. And for people who think that shearing is cruel, this ewe here, or ewe lamb really I should say, is just a prime example of why we shear. So across the back there, what's happened is um, her fleece has got dirty, flies have been attracted to it and have laid eggs in the fleece. The eggs have hatched into maggots and the maggots are starting to eat into her now. 
We've got this just in time. They've actually not really got into her. They're just sort of in the fleece at the moment. In another couple of days, this could have been probably on the verge of sort of fatal. They, they end up, they can go into like toxic shock and it can be quite serious really. So that's why we share. It's, it's a, a welfare issue, as I say. It's not a, it's not, certainly not a money making thing. We've put a little bit of spray on the back end there, which will just kill off any maggots that are still on there. And that'll be the end of that. And hopefully she'll be fine. Most of these ewes are in after shearing the wool in pretty good, uh, pretty good order, really. Pick him up, boys. Get behind. Good boys, well done.